It is a pleasure to speak at the Conference on Climate Change and Health in Small Island Developing States Focus on the Caribbean. I am Dr. Darren Dukiram, and I present today on behalf of my group of researchers from the School of Pharmacy at the University of the West Indies, led by Dr. Sandeep Maharaj, as we present on the evolving role of pharmacy education in planetary health. The rationale behind our talk today is indeed that there is an appreciation of planetary health as a growing concern worldwide. This growing concern is of course linked with human behaviors. We believe that human behaviors can be modified through education. And of course, education is predicated by mentors who are trusted in community. Trust is inherently placed in pharmacists in many communities because they are not only accessible, but in many healthcare settings around the globe, they may be the highest level of healthcare provider available to large portions of the population. Accessibility implies that educating pharmacists on the importance of planetary health can be a planet-wide solution. The question we posed therefore in this topic was can we train pharmacists to become planetary health advocates? In order to achieve the objectives and methods, we performed a rapid review utilizing Medline, EMBase, and Google Scholar. The terms planetary health, environmental health, pharmacy, and environmental impact were all searched. Two reviewers independently screened the results and abstracted data from the study. A narrative summary was developed. In order to do this, we performed an analysis of operational pharmacy practice that could potentially improve planetary health outcomes to identify key areas that can be used to sensitize students to the challenges and opportunities we face in planetary health. Our results and discussion included three key points. Firstly, planetary diets. The Eat Lancet Commission's planetary diet restricts meat, dairy, and starchy vegetables consumed in daily routines. Pharmacists' platform, accessibility, and status of trust in communities allow them to become advocates for lifestyle change with patients with whom they may interact. Pharmacy education must therefore develop a curriculum that allows pharmacy practitioners to be versed in current guidelines and advocacy programs. Secondly, plastics consumption. We know that the global plastic production reached approximately 360 tons in 2018. We believe that pharmacists can champion reduction in the use of single use uh, plastics by changing customer behavior away from single use um, disposable bags, for instance. And for those who may be in positions of industrial monitoring to disrupt industrial standards of packaging. Pharmacy education in order to achieve this must therefore develop a curriculum that allows practitioners to be knowledgeable about the harmful effect of plastic and to teach about advocacy methods to reduce the consumption. Finally, medication disposal, disposal. Improper drug disposal at household levels have been thought to lead to traces of medication entering water tables, which cannot be removed by existing filtration systems. Pharmacists should actively engage patients in education about proper use and disposal of expired medication to avoid this potential risk to the biodiversity of our planet. Pharmacy education must therefore develop a curriculum that allows practitioners to be effective in counseling and communication. We would like to thank you for your time as we have gone through this lightning talk to propose potential solutions to educating pharmacists in their learning and training in order to facilitate, facilitate learning and planetary health.